on the material. Someone is already asking about the like numbering scheme here. Let me share a whiteboard. So for the matrix, they always use like a capital letter, right? So if I want to do matrix A, mm -hmm. the matrix is A, each entry is going to be like a lowercase letter. So if I'm looking and I usually like, well, not usually, I always do matrices rows by columns. When I talk about the dimensions of a matrix, when I talk about the element in it, it's row by the column that it's in. So if I'm looking at this first one, and everything along here, it should start with a one, because this is the first row. Mm -hmm. This is going to all start with? The second with zero. The second one should start with what number? The second row? Yeah, so we're looking here at the second row. Yes, it's zero. It should start with two. Yeah, it should yes. start with two for the second row, right? And so that's the first number that's in there. The other number is the column. So everything, well, let's do three here. We get three rows. Now I want to look at my columns. And if I'm looking down here at the first column, everything in there should end in a, a one. A one. So we're always doing row by column. So I think usually you just go left to right and then we just go top to bottom. I just keep A11, A12. If I were doing this personally, I'd mm -hmm. probably just go about it this way. A11, 12, 13. When I reach the end of that, I know I count back up to my A21 is where I'm going to start here. A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. Sometimes it takes me a second to realize <laughs> which one's the row, which one's the column. Uh, it is really easy to like kind of mix your diagonals up here, right? Those two. Sometimes it takes me a minute to pause and think about that. So. Questions about this? Okay, so for the breakout rooms, uh, one, I want to do one, three, and four. I already made the rooms. They're ready to go. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to That's 6.5, right? Yeah, so it should be 6.5. And a lot of these aren't actually the ones that are assigned from the worksheet. Like I said, the, the ones assigned from the worksheet, there's basically four of them that we're still covering. So I want to do one, three, and four. And that shouldn't take you maybe 10 minutes tops, probably, I think. Hopefully. What does it mean for two matrices? Shush. What does it mean for two matrices to be equal? They have to be the same dimensions, and all their entries have to be what? Different entries. The same thing. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be the same. Same dimensions, same entries, right? Okay. All right, so let's go to breakout rooms. Oh, wrong person. I didn't do that to everyone. And okay. I'm going to open the rooms? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I thought you were opening them. Sorry. Uh, I need no participants. She should be there already. Where is it? No. <laughs> Okay. 
first on the list. Jerry, you know, if you put parentheses around your first name, you're going to be the first person on the list. <laughs> How's it going? Did you go get, first? Yeah, did you get this one? Um, uh, what do we want? A1, 2, A1, 3, B3, 2, B2, 2. I do all of them. Oh, well, they're not that hard, are they? Let me share this. I mean, Let no. me share the screen and let's see if we get through it. Uh, yeah, we'll continue. I'm going to share. This is one that's got the assignment on it. All right. I got three for A. Three for A. So A12. This is A11. This one, I believe, is the one that you're looking at. Yeah. A12 sounds right. And then for B32, I got one. B32. So third row, second column. And then B22, I got zero. B that one there. And uh, do I do the second one, like the bottom ones? Uh, no, that's all right. I was just going to make sure everyone gets this first. OK. All right, so this is, I don't know how else to do it, but this is just, this is one of those notation things, right? I start out with A11, we already did this earlier. Wrong keyboard, I'm trying to type stuff in now. A11, right, and then I go what? A12, and then I go A13, and then I go up in the other number here. So whether I have A, That's for my A function or my A matrix. I click back in there. I think I have to do a select tool, huh? That's what I have to do. Whether I have A or whether I want to change this thing to B, it's still the same numbering scheme, right? Well, if I'm talking about my B matrix, I'm just changing these to B. Now I'm looking at the other matrix. And so this is where he's getting those numbers from. Any question about these numbers, the grit, the numbering, oh, excuse me, the numbering scheme happening here? Okay. Here's my list of participants. Who's next? Alondra? For B, right? Uh, so now we're doing three and four, right? I think is where we're heading. So let me clear these annotations right quick. Go down. No, nope, gotta exit our annotations, scroll down. Uh, three and four are the next ones, right? And so I talked a little bit about this, but if we want two matrices to be equal, that means like both their dimensions and everything inside has to be equal. So we want to find, if possible, find values for X and Y so that the two matrices are equal. Oh, for X, I got one and for Y, I got one. I'm not sure if it's right though. <laughs> I keep trying to type in this keyboard. I'm gonna shut this thing off. Yeah, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. And how did we get that? So basically what you're doing, or what I think what you're doing, is you're looking here, and you're looking here for your x. Yeah. You're looking in the same spot, making sure they are the same number. Grab a different color. Uh, here's... For the Y, I'm looking in the same spot. I know those two things have to be equal. <laughs> okay. That one's almost too easy, but I'll give Anthony a shot on the next one. So following from this logic, <laughs> can we solve the number four for X and Y? It's a little bit more difficult. Um. So the first thing I see over there is like an X plus Y, right? And so what does that tell me? Uh, the numbers are combined. 
Huh? And that is what? One plus one. Right? No? Yeah, I don't know. Does X not equal one? Y equal doesn't equal one at this point? Uh, that is from problem three. So we're doing problem four, right? So mm. I don't All I have is X plus Y written now. What does the matrix give you about this? Um, well, one X plus Y equals three. No? Mm. So if I'm looking at, let me clear all these drawings. Yeah. If, if I'm looking at the X plus Y over here, what am I looking at on this matrix over here? What number over here? One, two, and three. Uh, so if we look at where it is in the matrix A, right? It's in the, what, first row, second column? Mm -hmm. And so what should this be equal to if these two matrices are equal? Two. It should be equal to two. That's what this is giving me. So one thing I can write is what X plus Y equals two. And so what does this thing give me now, this Y? Y is equal to seven. Y is equal to seven is the other thing. So I also know Y is equal to seven. And this thing wanted me to solve for values of X and Y so that these two things are equal. So it looks like we have Y, but I don't have X yet. So how do I find X? Wouldn't you subtract Y or? From what? From X. Uh, yeah. Well, you would plug in Y because now you have Y, which gives you yeah. X plus seven, right? Equals. Yes. Okay. And so it'd be negative five. X equals negative five. As X is a minus five. That's it. So we're looking at the correlating entries, making sure the correlating entries match up is basically kind of like the gist of it here, right? I see. Is which number you are, are you doing, teacher? Uh, number four. So from number four, we can get X plus Y equals two from the matrix. And we can get Y equals seven. We use these two things that we're grabbing from the matrix. And maybe grab. These are the two things we grab from the matrix. And from that, we can we, we already have Y solved. We just need to solve for X. I don't have four in my X's in my workbook here. I have just three. You don't have four in your paper? No. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, I have a question about four. Mm -hmm. So, um... So from my understanding, um, X equals negative five. So if X equals negative five, four, that means that they are not equal, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to find uh, values of X and Y that make A and B equal. So if we're looking at A and we're filling it out now, we have one and then in the middle we have like what, minus five plus seven? And then we have like three. So this is just the first row for me. Okay. But really that is what? One, two, and three, which is this first row from B. Okay, I got you. So if we go and plug X and Y back in and actually crunch the numbers, they will be the exact same entry for entry. The matrices should be exactly the same. Okay, I got you. Okay. Any more questions about these? Yes. I'm going back to the dentist. Okay. Someone say something? I hear someone talking. I don't see who's talking then. Okay. 
Uh, so it looks like we're about to go back into groups. I'm back. I can make groups again. Oh, yeah, we're about to just right about to be done. We just got done with this. Okay, I'll make the groups while you finish. Okay, up so uh, what I want to do next, since 7, 15, 17, 18, those next four, 7, 15, 17, 18, are pretty much right the same. I got to make co-host privileges too before I send everyone out. Uh, 715, 1718. And let me look at participants right quick. More. Okay. All right, should be ready for groups. Are there any questions before we go to groups? So these are the operations on the matrices. We're gonna add, subtract, and multiply by scalars. Do you want us to do seven A, B, and C? Yeah, why not? Okay. So really, whether you add and subtracting, you think about correlating entries. When you multiply, you just do it to everything. That's the way it sounds too, when you do it. Who did I call on last time? Now everyone shuffled around again. Okay, Carson, your next name I see. Did you get this one? For, uh, for which one, 7A? Yeah, 7A. So what did you do to add these things? I just, um, so I went row by row and I added across the top row by row. So if I'm looking at that four right there, what should I be adding that to? Negative one. Yeah, right here. And you're going across. I don't know if you want me to do these in different colors. I guess I can do that. So I'm hoping this sounds like what you're saying. Yeah. Going row by row. And so for part A, I'm doing A plus B. So what are the dimensions of the resulting matrix? All threes <laughs> in all corners. Okay. Yeah, okay. So all threes. And I said, what are the dimensions? The dimensions are two by two, right? It's the same. Oh, dimension. yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> yep, yep. So we're gonna add these two. So we're looking at basically the correlating entries. I'm adding the four and the minus one or the minus one and the four. Adding things that are the same color. I guess I can colorize this thing too, huh? This is that, those two, the numbers added. I guess it doesn't make a whole lot of difference in this one because they give you all the same numbers, right? And it's kind of. Those two red numbers add to that red number. And that three is different from that three. Questions about how to add? So if we do B plus A, or if we swap them around and we do the, the B first, how does B differ? It doesn't really. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a bit of a trick question because it doesn't. Yeah. Whether we do that one first or that one first, we're still adding those same entries. Whether we do what, four plus a minus one, or we do the B first, we would be doing minus one plus four for that first red entry, right? Talking about the red guy. So flipping them around when we add them doesn't change them. I think they're really like trying to get at something here and it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense since we don't do it anymore. But when we do addition, right? This is called commutative, right? is the way that they commute to the problem. Whether B arrives first or whether A arrives first, it doesn't matter what order they arrive in. We're still gonna get the same solution. Whether we add four and a minus one and minus one and a four, 
So when we do matrix addition, they are commutative. When we do the thing that we're not doing anymore, this is not the case. We don't have commutivity when we do multiplication. That's why I'm a little bit disappointed they threw it out. Because it's one of the first instances you get where commutivity doesn't work. Questions about those two. The other one is what A minus B. So I have my A function here. If I want to do a minus B, I'm probably not going to do subtraction. I guess you can, if you really want to. But I'm probably going to look at that as what? See in there? Negative B. Yeah, negative B. I'm probably going to find the negative B in there, right? So I want to do basically like a negative one times B probably. So how does that change this thing over here? The if negative I, one turn into a positive? Yeah, the negative turns in, into a positive and the positive turns into a negative. And then we're doing the same exact thing, right? We're looking along here. So what do we get for part C? Um, I had got five, negative five. And at the bottom, I got negative five, um, positive five. That looks correct. Because we got a positive four and a one to get this five up in here. This negative one, this negative four gives me a negative five over here. I'm doing some drawings today. Do you ever watch, there's an old SNL skit with like Mike Myers where he's in the bathtub. So talks about being Simon, doing drawings. It's got Danny DeVito in it too. It's a classic. <clears throat> I always think about that when I do drawings. Any questions over how to do addition, how to do subtraction? So subtracting is like adding by the negative of the other one. It's probably the way I'm going to do it. <laughs> do some scalar distribution. So this one, I think I had nothing but ones in there basically, right? The next one, I think they're actually going to throw in some numbers to do some scalar multiplication. So get this out of here. Next page, 15, uh, well, A plus B, what am I on now? Oh, she rearranged them now. Brian, did you get this one? Uh, I didn't know we were doing all of them. I only heard that we were doing all of them for, what was it, for seven. seven. Uh, the only one I got is C. Yeah, you do you want me to? You think you can do part A, like, real quick? Uh, let me take a gander. Yeah, it's A plus B is what we're doing. So the A plus B. I bet you could do it. I don't think it'd actually be that hard. Uh, so negative two plus two, that's a zero. So mm -hmm. zero upper left, uh, negative one plus negative one, negative two, uh, negative five plus three. It's going to be another negative two, uh, one plus one, two, uh, the two plus seven is nine. And the negative three plus negative five is going to be negative eight. Oh, beautiful. That's it. Look at that. You're already a matrix adding pro over there. Woo. <laughs> okay. So that was what? 15 part A? 
kale, so I got, it's not exact, but I got a big old egg. And I got okay. It used a little more gray, so I'm gonna just say- Who's on mute? Is that, is that you? Okay. I was hearing voices. I was like making sure I wasn't the only one. Okay. <laughs> 15, what, part B? Is that what we're doing now? Is Caitlin around? Yeah, I'm right here. All right. So part B says, what, 3A? I think we want to do, what do we want to do? That's what I should ask, huh? What does 3A mean? I said it's negative one. Do what? It's 15B, right? Yeah, 15B says to do 3A. Okay, so you multiply everything by three. Yeah, that's it. So I got Hello. negative six, negative one, negative 15, negative three, and six, negative nine. Yeah, so it's like distribution, but now we distribute it to everything that's in there. It's like we're doing 2D distribution or something, right? Minus six, minus three, minus 15, uh, three, and you said what? Six and minus nine. That's it. So we know how to add, we know how to do what? Scalar multiplication. And then they're gonna crank things up to 11 on the next step, right? 2A minus 3B. I think we're doing both at the same time. I was confused on this one. Um, were we supposed to multiply by negative three or positive three and then subtract all the B's from the A's? I would probably multiply by the negative three and add them personally. But either way, it sounds correct. So did you want to walk me through this one? I was looking for a name anyway. Sure. So what do we do? Two Is it 2A minus 3B? Yes. So first, so first you multiply all the A's by two. Here's the thing I'll tell you. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm so good at this. I don't have to write this stuff out. Write these steps out, man. Like, write, write, like a little bit of work. Because if you don't write this stuff and you get like something wrong in the end, I can't give you partial credit for stuff that's wrong. I can give you partial credit for stuff that's correct. And so if you don't show your work, you end up dooming yourself. Uh, don't do that to yourself. So multiply everything in A by two. So we get minus four, minus two. What is that? Minus 10, two, four, and a negative six. Then you multiply all of the B's by negative three. Yeah, so I'm going to include the negative in here, right? Excuse me, teacher. You need if we have you mean if we have this like in the in the test, we need to, to write all the steps, all the details, or just I would like to see like probably what I'm writing right now. I want to see like the thing get multiplied by the scalar. Ah, okay. I want to see some middle steps in there for sure. I don't just want like a solution plop down on there. Because it is, it's not like super complicated, like arithmetic, right? It's like you multiply and add stuff, but it is like, it's really easy to mess one little thing up. And so I would like to suggest writing everything. So. Where am I at? Minus six, positive three, it's minus nine, minus three, minus what, 21 and positive 15? Minus 
No, it doesn't work. Okay. You don't have 15 there. Uh, the last one should be in entry should be 15, right? Minus three times the minus five. And we kind of talked about it, but what am I doing now? Well, that one and that one. You're adding all of the A's to the B's. Okay, so what are we getting? This should be what? Minus 10, what's my next one? And I've got numbers written over numbers here, probably. One. Yeah, three minus two, I think, is giving me one. Because they had they had directly the results minus 10, one, minus 19, minus one. Yeah, so minus 10 and minus nine is minus 19. Mm -hmm. This one you said was what? It's minus one, the other one. A minus one, and then we have? Minus 17, nine. Because they did uh, just, just, yeah. Four, oh, minus 17, yes, I'm not, I can't read my own writing, apparently. Uh, Minus 17, there we go. And what, 15 minus six is what, nine? Nine. Yes, nine. 15 minus, uh, minus six. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, I see how you did that, uh, but I end up doing it different. But I feel like I messed up somewhere. So you end up doing um, you times everything by negative three, right? Yep. You could also just multiply it by positive and then subtract each correlating entry. Is also correct. Okay, but even when I did, see, because that's what I did. I multiply everything by three, then I subtract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you get the same entries? I messed up somewhere because um, I ended up getting two, one, 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 17, nine. So I feel like I messed up somewhere. So I was just trying to see if you can do it both ways, but if so, you know, so, but I go back and double check my answers. Okay, so we're going to do this. I can do it right quick. If we wanted to multiply it by what, a positive three and then subtract it, then this is still subtraction. Now everything gets multiplied by maybe what, a positive three? This is minus. Uh, so this is gonna be positive six. This would be a minus three. A, a minus three? I thought this, it was four. I think I messed up somewhere, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'll write this middle step out right quick and we can just look at it and hopefully we'll see that it's the same. Uh, this is what, nine. This is going to be positive three. This is positive 21. And this would be a minus 15 now. So if we're looking at this first entry, it's like a minus four. And then I have to subtract six. So that should give me the minus 10 have a minus two, I have to subtract a negative three, that's gonna be like a negative two plus three then. So you, you should still have the same amount of negative signs, should be the same entries. Okay, now I see um, when I end up doing a negative four I, um, with the six, but I didn't add the negative on the six, that's how I end up getting two. But okay, I see what I did wrong. Yeah, and yeah. I would probably suggest distributing the negative if it's a subtraction. Because it's a lot easier to look at two entries and add them. You're a lot less likely to mess up, I feel like, if you just add the entries, correlating entries, than if you subtract them. OK. Because you're like you're looking at correlating entries, you're, gonna have, you're having to think about your correlating entries, and then you're having to think about negative signs on top of it when you don't distribute. It gets, okay. a, little, it gets a little nasty sometimes. <laughs> Okay, I think I want to give you all a little more time. I don't think a lot of y'all are done with like 17 and 18. So I think Teacher, I'm going to give you all. Yeah. Please, can you do me the favor to go back for the exercise number one? I know it's the easiest one, but it's still I like, confused with A11, B12. 
can you just do it one more one once, please? Okay. I appreciate that because it was confused. Uh, a B two. I I don't know. All right. So we're looking at this one again. Yeah, the first one. Yes. Thank you. So we're looking across this thing, and I know this one would be like A11, A12, A13 would be the first row, the second row would be A21, A22, yes, A23, and then the last one is A31, right? A32. And A33. A33. How and so about if they go A12, that's the one in this spot, right? It's one. Mm? No, 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 eight, two, three. Yeah, now is the, the next one. It's five. That no, one should three. be what? Three? It's three. Yeah. Same thing with these other entries, except they have what? A B in there instead? It's a oh, B instead okay. of an A, but it's basically the same concept, right? Okay, for me, I mixed them A and B in the same gray. Oh man, thank you. Oh yeah, did you you think you thought there was one matrix or what? Is that what it was? No, I think for me it's like A one one, B one two, C. It's like the matrix. Oh no, 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 no! It's just they're all Bs in the matrix B. For this one, I was confused. This is they said this is the easiest one, but they can't understand it. Oh man, thank you so much, teacher. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I any, appreciate it so much. Thank you. Any other questions before we go to groups? Okay. It's just, it's just to change A with B, right? And we're gonna make groups. Again. Everything is the same thing. Oh yeah, I just sent you a text. Yep. Teen up here. So for 17, what do I want to do? What's the first thing? Did I write it down correctly, hopefully? That's it. Just multiplication, subtraction, and... Multiply first. Yeah, we want to do some multiplication first, right? So what am I yeah, multiplying? Two times all of those numbers in the first uh, in the first matrix. So we got a two, we got, or a four, we got a negative two, we got a 10, we got a two, we got a zero and a six, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's it. Then you're just going to bring down the next matrix, 5, 0, 7, negative 3, etc. Yep, yeah, and it's still addition. How'd you do this last one? I had them set up to um, add, well, Did you distribute the negative and make this addition, or did you keep it negative or minus? I yeah, I went negative, I plus negative on the opposite on on all the items in the matrix. Okay, so we're going to put a negative on that nine. This becomes positive four, negative four, negative four, minus one, minus six. That's exactly what I would have done. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see now what you were doing. I, I get that better. Actually, I had done it the other way, but now I see what you're doing. I uh, you got the negative on the outside. You can do that if you subtract the correlating entries. You got to be careful, though. Okay. The first step is the distribution of numbers. That is good. Sounds like you were telling me the right thing. I'm going to like work from the bottom to the top now, I guess. Uh, did you do them all at once or did you separate them and do them like two at a time? 
I did them all at once. Oh, did them all at once. <laughs> Me too. I did them once. We're getting risky here, huh? No, that's all right. So I think are you gonna do them all at once. I guess we're gonna do them all at once. We do them all at once. I hope you added those three entries for the first thing there. If we do that, what'd you get for your first entry? Zero. 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 And then maybe I'll uh, do some green. It's like the active teacher two times five. And nine. Then seven. Ooh, I got four. 13. That's a, that's a two. That's a two. I have two. It's maybe, two. Maybe we should do them two at a time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? This is a minus two, a zero, and a four. If we're adding those three things, what are we getting? Two. 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 That's two. It is two. <laughs> I was like, they're really getting this. All right, now we're looking at, I believe, those three numbers. So 10 plus seven minus four. Oh, that's 13. 13. Okay. Maybe that's what you are telling me 13 about. Huh? Okay. Should I do diamonds here? So what do I get when I add what those three things? I do five. What kind of five? Negative, negative five. Negative five. Okay. Negative five. Negative five. That's it. Three is a minus one and a minus four. Yep. And now, which one? This one? Zero. I think I get zero when I have those three things. And mm -hmm. the last one? One. That's one. It's the chosen one. I think we call him Neo when he's in the Matrix. Much like the movies, there will also be sequels to these matrices in your test. Huh? Are they going to be just as bad as the Matrix sequels? <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I actually just saw them. Including the first one for the first one. The first one was definitely the best one. one that, that I do agree mm -hmm. with that. I feel like. But they were all pretty good. So I'm like a month ago. They're about to make a new one. So I'm like. Yeah. yeah. That's why my friend wanted to watch them. That's the best one. Yep. yep. It definitely did a lot of interesting uh, filming techniques in there. It's become like, I don't even know, uh, what do you want to call it? Cult it's become one of those things. That's what been, call that. Right? Yeah, like a cult movie. It definitely. Yeah, has. this is a cult following. It's become memes. Yeah. <laughs> the, the lean back scene, right? It's like so iconic. All right, so I think we actually have to work through the Matrix. Instead of just talking about the movies. All right, so what's the deal with this one? Same thing. Same thing. Except maybe they're leading with the negative this time, so hopefully that doesn't throw you off too bad. Yeah. So what about this first matrix over here? Got negative nine at the top upper left. Next to it, negative 24. And then in the next row, three and 27. Yep. And this one. Thank uh, you. 20 at the 20. Up. It's 20. Minus nine plus 20. It's 20 11. minus 40. What? Five and 30. 30. Five and 30. And now I don't have no more room, so I'm going to have to delete. Problem off of here. I do this, I should get what? Same size matrix as these two things. It should be four by two by two. Do you want us to answer or are you just going to put it on there? 
Uh, we're like right at time, aren't we? I could just throw it up there right quick. So what are we doing? 20 minus nine is? 11. 11. What, minus 64? Four. Eight. Eight. Fifty-seven. So we are at time. If you got to go somewhere, you can go ahead and go somewhere. But what are we doing in this last one? I'll, I'll run through this last one right quick. Um, twenty-three. We had to um, I whether create the matrix. Whether I did, I don't want to say identify, but make a matrix for that picture. Yeah. Uh, do I have it right there? I need to bring up. This thing is what they're doing, right? So they're doing this. This gray is zero. This gray is slightly, wait, blah, white is zero. Slightly gray is one. A little bit darker gray is two. And then black is three. So this is the color scale that they're using. And so if we go and look back at what this guy, I believe this is what? The number one, and that's the number two. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two, yeah. So let's do some annotations. I believe this is one. This is two. This is what one. So everywhere I see one of these. This is basically my matrix right here. So I know I drew it over the picture doesn't have to be drawn over the picture right where's my my text one two one one two one one two one something like that And so they want to find matrix A. I believe this is matrix A, right? Is that what they're saying? Consider, yeah. And then find B such that when we add B to A, it will cause the entire image to become one gray level darker. And it's kind of silly. And for matrix B, we have the all ones. All ones? What are the dimensions? Um, three by three. It's a three by three matrix with everything one. It's basically all they're saying. So when we add it to this one, each number is going to get added by one. It's going to make it one, one scale, one degree darker, right? I know it's a really. I thought it was one. asking to make the whole thing the same color. I don't think that's what it's asking. So it would have been like two on two. To all make it like black. That would equal. Any matrix B such that adding B plus A will cause the entire image to become yeah, just one level darker. So each color just goes becomes one level darker than what it is. Uh, okay. if, it. if we want to find inverse, right? We could do something like everything is black, it would be the three 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 matrix. So I don't know if you ever color, uh, messed around on like what is it MS Paint back in the day? <laughs> I always remember doing the inverse image thing, right? You could just take take fully saturated image which is black, and you subtract it from there, and you get like like inverse image of like two one two, right? Two, one, two. And then you stare at the inverse image for a long time, and then you look at a white wall, and then you start seeing religious religious figures or whatever the heck they have down there. Okay. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? The little reverse image. If you stare yeah. at a reverse image and you stare at a white wall, it will you will see the image because your icons get adjusted to it. They're all over the internet, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm sure you could Google reverse image. Uh, what do I want to say? Any other questions? Uh, is there a graded problem? I don't think there's a graded problem on this homework. Okay, just double checking, because I'm like, it was one page, and all it gave me was like one of the answers to 24. Yeah. Uh, I there's think no just wanted to make sure it wasn't a... It is. No. Yeah, there is. I just yeah, did. It is one. It is one. Yeah. Yes. Number twenty-four B equals matrix one 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 three by three. No, and then you have yeah. to. That's the solutions. That's 
those are the answers to number 24 on the previous Yeah, page. it's the solutions. I don't think that's a problem. But, I can double check. Very quick, I can double check. Uh, six um, oh, I thought there was one. No, isn't it asking what A would be? Oh, when it's it the equals? answers. I just saw something. There's 24. Yeah. No, it just says answers, I guess. So it isn't a problem. Yep. So oh. I guess... I guess we don't have great problem, right? That yeah, okay. and that's that's mostly because they just kicked out the uh, matrix multiplication, and I'm oh. pretty sure it used to have. Fidel, check your here. message. Don't have homework. All right. So is your homework? The the completion Fidel. basically. Okay. Yeah, because this is the one. This is the one we just went over, right? This is the B is the one on one. If we add A and B, we get this thing. I know the 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 pages that we're working on says 27, 29, 31, 39, etc. Oh, those are all ma matrix multiplication. We're not doing matrix multiplication anymore. So we're not doing. We're not this. doing this. Okay. What's due today? What is due today? Uh, so 6.4B homework, 6.4A corrections. And let me write that down. Was it 6.4A homework? Or are you not typing? Have a good day. I'm going to go. See you guys good. tomorrow. See you around. Thanks. Okay. One more corrections. And start studying for the test, right? You got a review for the test. Look over that review. And then, so do we submit like, this as There's no today? lecture notes. Do we submit the practice problems and what we just did today uh, to show that we actually did them? Wait a minute. I'm confused. Why does it say 6.4B corrections yeah. are due tonight? That's oh, not shoot. Right. Oh, the way around. Uh, yeah. It's I not was six, like, uh, 6.4 corrections are due to 6.4 B a. homework and 6.4 A. Corrections. Okay. Corrections. Yes. I had them flipped. Sorry. Six point for Bs. So for the 6.5 homework, what are we trying to in just this paper or this that we worked on today? This, yeah, and the stuff that we did today. Stuff from, ah, I'm on annotations. All right, everyone have a good night or good day, whatever time it is. <laughs> you too. <Later. laughs> yeah, it's basically this work. Okay. Thanks, everyone, and have a good day. You too. Bye. You too, bye. So to what number are we supposed to be submitting this 6.5? To 24. I believe. There's basically, okay. there's four numbers on that list that we are actually like this line homework. Okay. Is our test tomorrow? The test is Monday. Oh, okay. Is tomorrow. Oh, is there okay. test review in Blackboard that we yeah. need to for? Okay. Right. The test review is there. It should be the same. We're covering the same section as we did last year. So. So for homework tomorrow, you only want them to submit those four for by midnight. Is that that what is what is required. They really should be submitting everything we did in class. But I guess that's what I'll require of them. It's just those four since that's on the list. I don't want to be too confusing. Okay, so I'm going to write an announcement if you don't mind leaving that being shared for a second so that everyone knows because some people left early. So I want to make sure they know. I still fifteen C.